By 2050, two-thirds of the world's population is expected to reside in cities. Cities are the centers of life, culture, art and education. At the same time, they are drivers of global emissions and pollution, and places where social segregation and exclusion manifest the most. Simply put, in cities, the most pressing of the grand societal challenges, poverty, pollution, and social conflict come together. In our efforts to preserve our planet and to allow future generations to prosper, we increasingly focus on making cities more sustainable. But what exactly does that mean? The ability to sustain has many facets and many meanings. According to the dictionary definition, it can refer to the ability to carry or withstand. Various efforts are underway that seek to make cities more sustainable by, for instance, making them resilient towards rising sea levels and extreme weather phenomena. However, resilience is not just a feature of our built environment, but also of our social environment. Communities need to build resilience, strengthening social cohesion and inclusion, so they won't break under the strain of an aging society, global migration and technological progress. The ability to sustain is also defined as the ability to supply with sustenance, to nourish, while treading lightly on resources. Given cities' vast environmental footprint, small measures can often lead to a tremendous impact. In this, cities cannot be perceived in a vacuum, since they are rarely self-sustaining. They need to be considered as part of broader systems, such as the surrounding countryside that provides food, energy, as well as housing to thousands of commuters. They also need to be regarded in context of the global trade routes that supply them with goods and resources. In addition to these regional and global networks, a city itself is often perceived as a system of systems. Large cities and urban areas contain millions of inhabitants, tens of thousands of businesses, and hundreds of neighborhoods and sub-communities. Each stakeholder has a part to play in making the city as a whole more sustainable. People need to adapt their behavior, businesses need to innovate, and governments need to provide the regulatory framework. At the same time, cities consist of various types of infrastructures, such as streets, power grids, water supply, or communication networks. Sustainability can be improved in each of these systems and in services associated with them. It is not without reason that cities are amongst the most complex forms of organizations known. To manage this complexity and improve long-term sustainability of urban life, many cities are embracing technological progress, projects and initiatives that seek to leverage information systems in making cities smarter. We can see examples of how information technology shapes sustainable cities and communities all around us. Smartphone apps like Bautenbeta or Zürich wie Neu allow residents to report issues in the city, such as potholes or overflowing trash cans, directly to the municipality, along with pictures and precise locations. They receive feedback once the issue has been fixed. This example of citizen sourcing promotes civic responsibility and community participation while improving the quality of life within the city. Within the Brooklyn Microgrid project, Siemens and the startup company LO3 Energy partner to enable residents to sell excess energy from their solar panels to their neighbors. This peer-to-peer -peer approach is based on blockchain technology and exemplifies how IT supports the supply of cities with clean energy. Transportation networks are the lifeblood of cities. Often, access to mobility is equivalent to access to labor and to participation in social life. Sharing platforms, be it for rides, bikes or cars, can make mobility accessible to people who could not afford it before, impacting the social dimension of sustainability. Combined with functioning public transportation services, they may also encourage people to forfeit car ownership completely, thus reducing congestion and emissions in the city. Public transport operators themselves can also contribute substantially to making cities and communities more sustainable. Digital apps are used to tailor public transport schedules to citizens' needs, and the transition to electric bus fleets powered by renewable sources 
enables zero carbon mobility within cities. RET illustrates in their video how such a transformation to sustainable transportation is realized in Rotterdam. Cities are fascinating, complex systems that change rapidly across the globe. They showcase the pinnacles of art and architecture. They are also home to millions living in abject poverty and despair. Some are efficient in busy metropolises with fresh air and clean water. Others stand on the precipice to destruction, fueled by cancerous, uncontrolled development, pollution and corruption. But if the transition to sustainable cities and communities fails, we will fail. It is the responsibility of every stakeholder, citizens, businesses and public organizations to make this transition happen. Will you help?